first major term is how long, the, uh, how many albums you may potentially have to commit to to the record company. Um, if it's a major label record company, uh, you will be looking at anywhere between five and seven albums, I would say. And what does that mean? Uh, that you get to make five or seven albums? No. It means that the record company has the option to require your exclusive recording services for as many as seven albums. Um, but the way it works is you record one, they may or may not re uh, release it. If they, in their business company, in their business judgment, decides that, yeah, this is a good thing and I want another record, they'll pay you another advance and they'll, they'll uh, get the second record and the third and fourth and, and potentially the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. But it's that company's option. So. Uh, People often hear the word dropped. What, what does that mean? That means that record company had seven options. An artist was thinking, I'm going to record seven, seven records for this uh, company. And after the first record, it didn't do so hot uh, in terms of sales. And the record company did not pick up its option for a second album. And therefore, they dropped you. You're gone. You're not on the label anymore. They still own the rights to that first album, but there are now going to be no further albums with that company. So you're dropped from the label. So that, that, that's the first major thing. What, uh, how long is your commitment to the record company? Um, what's your royalty rate, which we just talked about? Uh, which is, if you're a new artist, somewhere between 11 and 14 percent, and um, uh, of I'm sorry, 11 to 14 percent of uh, the retail price. Uh, so, say in a $12 CD, uh, you would think you would be getting 12 percent of $12. Ah. No. Um, Actually, it's $12 minus packaging costs and uh, free goods deductions. And th those are the two main ones. Uh, but basically, uh, they, your royalty rate, uh, you're not uh, applying the 12%, your 12% royalty rate to $12. By the time the deductions and the this and the that are taken out, you're probably uh, applying your 12% royalty rate to, uh, let's see, 25, uh, 35, 40, uh, to about 8 or $9. Dollars. So that would be your royalty rate. And then there uh, are creative controls in the recording agreement, but almost all of those belong to the record company. Who's your producer? What does the artwork look like? What songs are going to be uh, recorded? Um, how, how, what, what singles are going to be picked for radio. All those in the contract are going to say it's the record company's decision. Although, in my experience, uh, on many of those things, a lot of the record companies definitely listen to artists. They, they're not going to force you into a recording studio with a producer you don't want. The, they, they will choose for a single at radio something that you don't think represents you. 